Hey guys, welcome back. Back out on the bench today, we've got our TPH project on the on the shooting bench. We're going to be doing part three today, doing a little bit of load work up, kind of bring you guys along and see what we can come up with. I chose a 70 grain Sierra Match King projectile over bargain powder. I went with that projectile because I've had fairly good luck out of it with the Savage Twist Rate and just wanted to kind of see if it held true with this rifle as well. They're overall not that an crazy and expensive a bullet. You can find them relatively easily in a lot of reloading shops, which is nice. Uh, the bargain powder tends to leave, you know, pretty good accuracy with it as well. But um, I've got a few different charge weights loaded and a few different OALs. These are all measured at the O-Give. But uh, we're going to take some shots at 110 yards and at some, just kind of see what we can do. See if we can get uh, any type of, uh, you know, good groups out of it and see if there's something we can build off of. But uh, Let's uh let's take some shots here and kind of see what we can do. I've got uh, started out at uh, 2.289 OAL, and we're going to be running through 38.6, 39, and 39 and a half grains continuous through the three different OALs. This is just kind of a, a rough estimate. We've got uh, right at jam, and then uh, ten thousandths over and then 10 thousandths under and then we can kind of build off of that if we find one of these that look promising so let's uh start off with the 38.6 grains again 110 yards let's see what we can do here Third shot here. Okay. All right, now that same OAL, let's try 39 grains. Let's see what that does. So, a little bit hotter load. None of these loads are crazy. I don't. Uh, 243 is kind of a barrel burner anyway, so I don't like to load them any hotter than I have to. But uh, let's see if we can get in here with this. All right, now let's try 39 and a half. Again, we're using that same OAL. This is 39 and a half Bargain 2.289 OAL. It's going to be a little bit harder, but not bad. All right. Again, guys, I absolutely love this chassis.
Well, so far the lighter loads look to be doing a little bit better. Okay, now we're going to do the same 38.6 grains. This is going to be 2.279 OAL, and this is going to be jam. So this is just chamber length. Okay, same OAL again, guys. We're going to be running 39 on this one, 39 even. Now, I will say, this really isn't the correct way to do this. Uh, I'm doing this basically just to save time for video's sake. But ideally, after you run a string, like those first three strings that I did, you ideally should let the rifle cool uh, for time's sake and you know, so the video isn't, you know, a thousand minutes long and doesn't take me half an afternoon to do this. I'm just going to run through them all just to kind of give you guys an idea of what I typically do whenever I'm working up a load. But this will give you an idea. All right, now 39 and a half. Again, same OAL at jam. Now, now we're going to do 2.299 OAL. That's going to be a little bit different from the others. Like I said, guys, you kind of want to, your first initial load workup, it doesn't have to be, you know, like extreme close increments. You know, get something, I like to go jam 10 thousandths over ten thousandths under and then I look back in my previous data and for whatever bullet caliber combination I'm looking for especially when I have twist rate data is I'll pick a general powder range that has given me the best results and then I'll usually load to that you know I'll load the high end to the low end 
and then I'll run my ladder test off of that. And then after I shoot the ladder, again, see if there's anything promising, and then you can reload off of that, which when we get done shooting here, we'll go down and I'll talk about that. But let's see here. Definitely likes that. All right, now let's try that 39 even, okay? 2.299, again, we're shooting a 243 caliber, so six millimeter projectiles. So this is gonna be a 70 grain SMK. Okay, now let's go ahead and try the 39 and a half grains. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with how predictable the shots are, even just doing the ladder. This chassis definitely makes things so much more consistent when shooting, it's so stable. All right, last shot, guys. All right. All right, let me grab the camera here, fellas. Okay. Let's walk down. Like I said, overall, I am extremely, extremely impressed with the feel of that rifle, guys. It is just absolutely stable as can be on that bench. If it, if it would ever dry out here at the hide and at our some of our local shoots and stuff, I'd like to get some prone shooting in it and see if how well it'll do you know, shooting off the ground and stuff as well, but I have no doubt that it'll, it'll excel at that as well. But I think we're going to be pleasantly surprised with our accuracy here. And again, I like Sierras. They're easy to get where I'm from, where I'm at. So a lot of different shops have them in stock. So, and they have that six millimeter 70 grainer in stock, which is really nice. So I don't have to order them online, but I think we may have something to go off of here. 
so got some good data to go off of oh yeah wow okay so let's see what we got here fellas now all right look here whenever i'm doing a ladder i'll just take a big sheet of paper usually just a just a paper target i'll draw out a grid and i'll put you know stickers in nine general areas here i'll run my powder weights up at the top and then i do my oals on the left side here and then go over accordingly and like i said we're running a 243 caliber 70 grain match kings in the savage tph with the xlr chassis varget powder so i've got 38.6 grains here 39 here and 39 and a half and we've got our 2.289 that is our jam okay and then we've got minus 10 thousandths 2.279 and then plus 10 thousandths, 2.299. And as I kind of suspected, most savages like to be jammed anywhere from five to 10 thousandths. That is just my personal data point, fellas. Out of all the savages I've had, 308, 243 alike, that for whatever the reason, they just like jam. I don't, I don't know. It's just maybe the way their barrels are cut or something, I don't know. But <laughs> I mean, that right there, that's pretty darn good, fellas. I mean, and that was with 38.6 grains, so that makes me happy. You want to try, or I do, especially in 243, I like to try to get the best accuracy I can with the lowest charge weight. So A, I'm saving a little bit of powder in each case, and B, I'm saving a little bit of powder that I'm putting through that barrel as well. So trying to keep that heat down a little bit. And as you can tell, the lighter charges are definitely running a little bit tighter of a group which is nice. That's even a really good group there. I mean, my thumb can cover that. My pinky can cover that one. Ha! Ah, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Like I said, that was 38.6 grains plus 10 thousandths, 2.299 OAL. And like I said, guys, I measure all my loads off the O-Give, which is what you want to do. You're going to get your most consistent loadings that way. But uh, overall, fellas, I think we've got something really, really, really nice to work with here. I think this is going to set us up for a really nice match rifle. But uh, as always, fellas, if you've got questions on this, as always, please give me a shout. You know, I'm always willing to help. If you've got any questions on the channel content, you know, shoot me a message if there's something you'd like to see. Always willing to help that way, too. Please feel free to give this video a like, subscribe, and share the videos as it really does help, fellas. And as always, shoot straight. Later. Thank you.